Infinite Banking, the litmus test. Hi, I'm Sunny Mitra, founder of Bright Horizons Wealth. We teach entrepreneurs and go-getters like you how to own their financial future with the concept of infinite banking. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every week we come out with brand new videos. Please stay tuned to the end of the video to get a valuable tool today and learn how you can make more money by working smarter, not by working harder. So today's topic is infinite banking, the litmus test, eight things you need to know before buying a whole life policy. And it can be summed up in a couple of words. Check out if it's a mutual company, its age, financial rating, rate of interest and its claims paying capacity. But before getting into the details, let me tell you why I call it a litmus test. Long, long ago when I used to go to the college, in our chemistry lab, sometimes they would give us a piece of paper called litmus paper. The beauty of that paper is when you soak it up inside a chemical, the litmus paper will change its color and the color will tell you the quality of that chemical. Hence, it is called a litmus test. I'm using the same terminology here as a symbol of an accurate testing of any life insurance company before you get into it. So here you go. We're going to give you eight tips today that you need to run through any company before making a decision. And the tip number one is how financially solid is the company? It's important to choose a financially strong life insurer. The question is, how can you find it out? And the answer is very simple. Just Google it and find out its rating. Look up financial strength ratings to find out how stable the company is. Independent rating forms such as AMBEST, Fitch Ratings, Moody's Investor Services, or standard and poor's rating services issue grades for insurance companies. How old is the company? The second thing that you need to know is how long has the company been around? You want the company to be around to pay the death benefit to your beneficiary. Whether you pass away in five years or 30, most of the companies that we deal with are more than 100 years old but some of them are even older than that. What is the company's track record? Check with your state insurance department to get a glimpse of how well a life insurance company serves its customers and lives up to its promises. You can also look up complaint, licensing and financial information by company on the National Association of Insurance Commissioners website. Now, this one is very important. To buy a whole life policy, to entertain the concept of infinite banking, you must need to find it out. Is it a stock or a mutual company? Unlike publicly traded insurance companies, which are owned by stockholders, mutual life insurance companies are owned by their policyholders. As a result, if you buy a permanent life insurance policy through a mutual company, you can receive dividends, a share of the company's surplus revenue. The reason I said it's so important because just making 4% guaranteed interest every year is not going to bring a big change in your portfolio. This is the dividend checks that you get every year that makes or breaks the infinite banking concept. Each year the mutual company's board of directors decides how much to distribute to policyholders in the form of dividends. You can take yours in cash, use them to repay policy loans or apply them toward premiums. And the next question you should be asking is how long have they been paying dividends? And that brings us to the next point, that is, how long have they been consecutively paying dividends? 
most of the companies that we work with have been paying dividends consecutively for the past 100 years. In fact, I call it one of the best litmus test for a whole life insurance company. Just imagine a company who has been paying dividends even through the Great Depression or recession periods. It has stood the financial test of the time. Now our next point should be premium and cost. It is important to know whenever you buy a whole life insurance policy if you have premiums and cost involved in it. You should always find it out if the premiums that you are paying are giving the best bang for the buck. Our next tip is how much interest they charge on the loan and talking about the cost brings us to the next point which is the loan structure. One of the best thing about a whole life insurance policy is they call it a cash value policy and the reason they call it a cash value policy because it accumulates cash inside it and that gives you the flexibility to opt in the loan from your policy. The way it works is whenever you take a loan from an insurance company they will charge you an interest rate. Here is what you need to find out about that interest. Number one is it a fixed or variable rate of interest and number two how much interest I'll be paying on my loan. Most of the companies that we deal with charges anywhere between 4% to 5% fixed interest rate. So tip number six is term conversions. One of the important things you should be looking for when working with an insurance company is do they have a good portfolio of whole life products? Do they have a good conversation system? That is if you have a term policy you can convert it to whole life policy and all those things. So how do you choose between them? Here are five questions to ask about a company before you buy. What products are available? Review the company's life insurance products to make sure it offers a good selection of type you want to buy whether that's term or permanent life insurance such as whole life or universal life. If you buy a whole life insurance policy what you should be looking for when working with an insurance company is do they have a good portfolio of whole life products? What are the underwriting guidelines? Underwriting guidelines vary widely by the company. Insurers use these to determine whether to sell you a policy and how much to charge. If you get turned down or are quoted unaffordable rates by one company you might have better luck with another. Compare life insurance quotes among several competitors to see how they stack up. Now to recap what we discussed so far is to find out the right insurance company we need to check out whether it's a mutual company or a stock company. How old is the company? What is its financial rating? What kind of rate of interest they pay and they charge and its claims paying capacity. Now here is the final tip for the day. I want you to take a minute and find out how much interest a bank CD is paying as of today. Then if you find that your whole life insurance policy is paying 4% guaranteed interest plus the possibility of getting a dividend check at the end of the year it has a good liquidity feature that at any time you can take out a loan from here as much as 90% of the cash value from the next month ask yourself does it make sense to get more interest liquidity and a death benefit or should I put my money in the stock market which is currently nose diving. So that's about it for today. Now I have a question for you. What is the one thing you got from this video today? Please let us know in the comment section. It will help us improve our message. Thank you for watching our video today. If you want to learn more about it, check out our free on demand masterclass which explains it in a more in depth setting. Your comments are my oxygen. Please take a moment and say hi in the comment section and let me and my team know what you thought of the video. P.S. It would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button. Check out our next video on Thursday called on 
4 percent guaranteed with 90 percent liquidity and do not forget to own your financial future or someone else will.